To install the Fit360 into a vehicle, remove the seat from the base. Locate and squeeze one of the seat release handles. Turn the seat about halfway and allow the seat to stop at the midway point. Locate the seat removal tool on the end of the harness adjuster strap. Insert and press the seat removal tool into the seat lock release opening on the base. The seat lock release will click when pressed. Squeeze both seat release handles and lift up on the seat to remove it from the base. Set the Fit360 seat aside until the base is installed. Next, we'll install the base. Always use the top tether anchor if it is available. Remove the tether from the storage clip on the back of the base before placing the base in the vehicle. Remove the latch straps from the latch storage compartment. Adjust the strap to its full length. Next, place the base on the vehicle seat. Make sure it is not blocking the vehicle belt buckle. Lay the tether strap over the back of the vehicle seat. Locate the recline adjustment handle, then lift up to adjust the base and level it by sliding it forward or backward. Check that the headrest of the vehicle seat does not interfere with the headrest of the child restraint. Locate the bubble level indicator and ensure the bubble falls between the lines on the indicator. Locate the lever in the middle of the lever lock door. Push in with your thumb and then lift up with your fingers to open the door. Pull the latch straps through the base frame opening. Then route the straps between the base frame and the lever lock door. Locate the latch anchor bars in your vehicle. Attach both latch connectors. Pull up on the end of the adjuster strap until it is tight. Make sure the latch strap lays flat over the belt guides on both sides of the base frame. Push the lever lock door closed. Locate the tether anchor in your vehicle. Attach the tether hook and pull the tether adjuster strap to tighten. Now, check for tightness. Hold the base at each side near the vehicle belt paths. The base should not move more than one inch from front to back or side to side. Holding the seat at a 90 degree angle to the base, insert the seat into the base until it clicks into position. Squeeze the handle and rotate the seat to the rear or forward facing position. Always make sure the ready to ride indicator is green before driving. If the ready to ride indicator is red, Rotate the seat without depressing the release handles to lock it into position.